Hi guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. We're back for another equipment autopsy and this is a special one because I'm here with Sebastian. Hi. Hi everyone. Who is all the way from Argentina. Yeah. So that's my shirt. Yeah. And we're shooting the AVE video because, which, so you've got your shirt. I got my shirt. It's Google Mass Freak. So I turned him onto AVE. Yeah. And, and he's a huge fan of, of a, AVE and EEV blog and a bunch of other really cool nerd guys. And you're doing a tour through America. Yeah. Of like you're doing a nerd tour. Yeah, the of big the nerd tour. It, it has to start here, and then <laughs> we'll we'll go to tour and a bunch of uh, maker places, uh, maker spaces and hacker spaces and all that. Okay, and you're yeah. meeting some famous YouTubers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm meeting Chris Gamble, who you may know yeah. uh, from the Unpower podcast, and yeah, and Chris Gamble's Analog Life previous to that, and now Contextual Electronics. He has a non-like course. Cool. Yeah. He's cool. Well, a while back, we sent, uh, I, I had three of these, well, four. One of them, the first one was sent off to Dave at EEV Blog, and he took it apart, and I wanted him to look at the electronic side of things. That was my hope. And so he's still got it, and I'm hoping he does more of a follow-up on it, because we're going to get into some cool stuff today. Mm -hmm. I sent a duplicate to um, AVE, and he still hasn't done a video on it, but I'm just remaining ever hopeful. I've waited a while and I was going to just keep on waiting, but you came and screwed it all up. <laughs> and the third one of these is sent off to the Antique Computer Museum and awesome. they're going to be put, they're, they're making a whole display out of it. Wow. And we're actually going to be helping with that. This is the fourth. And this one we're going to autopsy here in my style because Dave has his style, yep. AVE has his style, and, I, and they're all very different. And I was like, what if we take this really cool, amazing thing, and you've never seen in one of these before. No, only Dave's video? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what if we take this really cool, amazing thing that has a mechanical component for AVE, an electrical right. component for Dave, and just and everybody makes a video, and then we can all compare and contrast, and it'll be really cool. Be awesome. So, so far, Dave's done his. I'm waiting on AVE, and we're about to do ours. So let's get this open. Right. This will be really funny because everybody who's watched Dave do his, mine's going to be very different in how I open it. OK. <laughs> Because I watched Dave do his and giggled a bit because I knew the thing about the valve. So <laughs> I was just watching it going, no, no, oh my god, you're doing it wrong. So we're going we're gonna to start, oh, this is going to yeah. have a lot of pleasant sounds. Cringe. Um, here, hold that up like that. All right. And I'll pop the Schrader valve out. This is a altitude azimuth computer. This is a mechanical computer. Let me see what I can figure out here. Yeah, yeah it just says computer, altitude azimuth. Automatic astro compass type MD1. And this is stock number 6605-673-6737. And it was made by the Colesman Instrument Corporation US. It's a mechanical computer. And it's amazing inside. So the first thing we're gonna do is equalize the pressure. This is exciting. <laughs> just... Yeah. There's a little <laughs> Schrader valve. Okay, so we've equalized the pressure. Now we're gonna take out the main mounting screws. Now I'm hoping you have some particularly awesome insight on this. And that maybe, because you're an electronics guy. Yeah. Like, that's your world. That's my thing. What I want really badly is to have this hooked up to, like, an Arduino. That would be nice. Well, and I also teach a course on yeah. Arduino, so, yeah. Because I've got all these wires on the bottom, all these inputs. Yeah. I want this with an Arduino because some of these are inputs that move motors inside it. Cool. Some of them are outputs that read encoders inside it. And my ultimate goal for this, what I really, really, really want, and you could be the guy that does it, okay. is to have this not necessarily be fully operational as its intended purpose, mm -hmm. but have this just move through its full range of motion. And since the encoders would be like, okay, you've gone too far, now go back, but right. that kind yeah. of thing. All right, so this 
is like a solder tape. Right. And the way to get it off, the way to open this, is with a precision, delicate instrument. Okay. A hammer and chisel. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna, you want big or little? Uh, big. Okay, you take the big one. Yeah. Grab the, the thumb detector. The thumb detector. And we will what we're going to do is we're gonna yeah. turn this facing us. Ooh, hey, handy autopsy table spot oh, there. Good. That's Ooh. cool. All right, yeah. and we're going to put this here. Now what we want to do is yeah. break this seal, and once we get it broken, you'll be able to peel it back like right. an old With sardine can. Yeah. Yep, so we're just going to find our spot. Let's try a different approach. Okay. Um, because this is, let's try. I have somewhere, aha. I have, I have picking things. Oh, okay. okay. Pokey bit. And mm. we may be able to pick at this. All right. Because I've done this before once and I very quickly got to a point where everything started peeling off. Oh, that's cool. And that's definitely, where we want to be is because once you get it to start like this, see this piece yeah. here? Watch this. Wow. See how that ah, peels look off? Look at that, yeah. And once you get it peeling, it. You yeah. pull it away. All right, here, I'll hold the thing down. Yeah. Pull that off and okay. just keep peeling that way. Oh, man. Here, 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 here. Watch. Yeah. Start with these. Right. And roll it back. Roll it back. And you just you gotta you gotta do it without breaking it. Yeah. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. And these bullnose ones you can grab like this to get a hole and roll. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. It's it's going. That's totally it. Okay, grab yeah. that. Pull. And pull. Yep. All right. You grab that. I grab this. See? Oh. Okay. Don't just keep okay. going. Just keep okay. going. Here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah screw yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Screw it up. Um. Well. But well, now you, you see it. You yeah, see what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. Now I'm, I'm seeing. So maybe I can. Very, very carefully. Very gently. Yeah, you got it. You got it. And yeah, you got the bull nose. No, get it from the tips. And ah, okay, okay. From the tips. No, like, ah. like this. Yeah. Because um, these are square nose. Yeah. So you grab it. So like you will that lay it flat. And roll. And, oh, then, all right. and now you're off. Yeah. Now I'm off. Don't pull back, pull out okay. this All way. Right. Yeah. All right. Because if okay. you pull out, you won't break it. Okay. Yeah, you got it. There Look at that. There you go. Okay, now hang on, hang on, hang on. I like opening oh, a kind of tuna. There's, I'm missing a thing. There's yeah. only two. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and watch the edges on that. That's wicked sharp. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. I'm not allowed to curse. <laughs> Well, we're bridge. not supposed to. They'll have okay. to edit it out. Yeah. I'll, I'll try not to. Hang on, hang on. Where, think I got it. You think you got it? Okay, give it a shot. Uh, like, if you believe, I'm with you, man. I believe, I believe. Oh, no, no, I, I see, don't believe. There you go. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's what you get for believing. See yeah. what belief gets? Oh, hey, look. See that line? Oh. That might cool. be the seam. That may very what well. What do you mean? Here you go. Ah! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was so close! Oh, wait, no, it stopped there because we're out. Yeah. That's we're all out. we got. Yeah, I, I think, or, or are we missing just a little bit? Yeah. It's Hang on, I need. Oh, no, 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 no. we're missing a little bit here. Where? Right here. Okay, we'll pull yeah. that. Ready? Okay. Yep. Where, yeah, this is the better edge. Yeah.
We did it. All right. Ooh, yeah. that smell. All right. Take oh, man. That. Yeah, it gets really cool in a hurry. Yeah. All right. Um, brush off the table. We'll just get all the schmoo out of the way. Schmoo itself. Okay. Okay. Now, this is where it gets cool. Wow. Yeah, isn't it neat? It's beautiful. That's, that's art. Yeah. And uh, oh, so what we have, now we can sit down. Yeah. All right. So we have a lot of motors, like on the back. Wow. We have a lot of motors and encoders, and I don't know which is which. Right. But you would be able to figure that These out. These are motors. These? Uh, yeah. Those okay. look like DC, regular DC motors. Well, not regular, but uh, DC motors. And, uh, wow. This is input to first there. It says one phase, 26 volts, uh, stator output, three phase, 11.8 volts. Wow. So, yeah. That's a lot of motors. So, watch this. Yeah. If we turn it around this way, mm -hmm. watch inside there. Yeah. Oh my. There's yeah. all kinds of stuff happening. Yep. It's like a gyroscope. Well, Look. it's a computer yeah. for altitude and azimuth. And that's everything I know about it. But what I know is everything here moves. Right. And it's this amazing clockwork mechanism with like that one moving and this one moving. So that gives us one direction and that gives us another direction. And there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh my and God. it's beautiful. The things that we're seeing here, these are motors. Okay. For sure. How do you know? Because they only have two leads going in. Really? So they are DC motors. Like going in there, they're only to are this. you sure about that? These are, uh, this is the power for the motor, for sure. What I yeah, don't know... Yeah, but there's two wires here. Yeah. And then there's two more wires here. Yeah. The thing is, I think there are four or five wires okay. going out. Uh, what I think is every, each and every one of these motors, the, the motor itself is this part. Yeah. And this, this piece right here is the... Position the encoder? Encoder. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so these wires are the encoders output. Okay. That's what I'm uh, And there's, there's a million yeah. of them in there. Like yeah. There's a lot of motors in this. Oh my, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't even know what these are. That big drum thing right there? What is that? Wow. Yeah, I'm not able to figure it out either. No idea. But uh, maybe counterweights or something like that? Flywheels or something Flywheel, like that maybe? Flywheel, some type of The flywheel? infuriating thing is there aren't that many plugs on the bottom of this. Yeah. Like there's, there's those four sockets. Yeah. That's it. That's all. That's all we've got. Oh my. So everything there will control. We'll control. Everything here, and we even have like because getting plugs to fit these would be really hard. Yeah. That's okay. Do you have the plugs? No. No. There's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. DB25 DB breakouts here, so we could take this yeah. whole thing right off and just have DB25s. Hook it right. Yeah, yeah, and just plug that right in, and it's a standard uh, serial cable for yeah. a computer. Yeah. Well, uh, so the thing that, well, we would have to reverse engineer first power. I would do two things. First, uh, figure out how to get power into the motors. So maybe trace back the motors. So just cut lead. all the looms off and start working your way in. I, I, I would love or to. Or at the very least, you could right. be like, yeah. this is the wire I want, and it's this yeah. color. Follow. And yeah. it goes to here, and just start yeah. pinning it just out. Just start pinning yeah. it out, and, and follow along, and, and try to reverse engineer the, this pin out. Um, so I will start right there. Uh, you will know that the, um, the cables that will, will feed uh, power, it will be more sturdy cables okay. for sure so and and also i'm betting that uh they will follow the color code that that red red is positive, red black is positive. Is negative, that, yeah. yeah okay uh i think that they will there's definitely so much to that. It. yeah there's just so much going on it's, it's <laughs> there's yeah. a lot packed into a tiny little place oh yeah 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 and this is like what what you're 
the, the 60s, stamp, 70s? 73? Yeah, it looks like a 73 to me for that stamp, but Would that be, this is MD2, be, so I, mean, yeah, just, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, if, if you had a, an IC or something like that in here, like Dave uh, from the EB blog does, you can uh, yeah, date the IC because they have a time stamp. there's stamped, no yeah. ICs in this. It's Nothing. all entirely analog. And look at oh the my. machining in this. It's just, yeah. it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and to it's have like something a that is, yeah, to have something yeah. that's at this level of engineering art, I really want to put it on display, but I don't want to have it yeah. just sit there. Yeah. I it's want it static. to move because yeah. if, if the minute it moves, people are going to stop and be like, oh, wow. Well, yeah, and that's what cool I want. Is, is I want I want people to have that moment of wow. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, back at home, I'm working with a, a physician, a friend, uh, in a um, um, it's a neurological uh, educational thing. Okay. It's a um, simulator of the um, uh, neuro the system, the nervous system. Okay. So uh, it's uh, basically a tower with a bunch of uh, acrylic um, cuts, and each acrylic uh, sheet represents a different uh, level cut in the. Um, oh, like a different. Yeah, different, a different regions. Are, yeah, so there are four that are uh, all across the um, the spine. Um, okay, so you've yeah. got like cervical, thoracic, lumbar, exactly. and sacral. Okay, yeah, 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 and at the top, it's the like a coronal uh, cut uh, of, of the brain. Okay. And you, we have uh, LEDs, like RGB LEDs, okay. uh, uh, that, and you control the whole thing from a tablet, and you-, you And they're using this for like in a museum or for teaching kids? Or? The thing is for teaching in the, the university. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teaching, um, uh, it's like So you're used anatomy. to building things used as teaching aids. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm working on that. Uh, so, well, Is there I will anything love else that we want to talk about here? Because uh, it's a lot of really pretty, but it really is just gears and motors. And yeah, technically, there, are a there couple isn't of, that much to it. There are a couple of transformers here, and I don't really know uh, There's some why. really basic circuitry, like there's this yeah. here, like just... Giant resistors. Yeah, and point to point. Giant resistors. Yeah, maybe those are ballast resistors or things like that, uh, because you would want to control the amount of current, or uh, maybe limit current spikes. I'm this is surprised. So cool. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I think those things maybe flywheels. Wow. And this moves. Yeah. I just discovered that this moves on its on that slide there. Yeah. That's okay. So that moves. Wow. And this moves. This is freaking awesome. Wow. So there's like five yeah. different axes of stuff happening yeah, in at there. Yeah. least. Yeah. That's really neat. Wow. Yeah. It is. What I want is to sort out like because we can see yeah we've got all these breakouts here oh man and they go all the way around we've yeah. got every wire has a breakout oh my right God. yeah so, so maybe we can tap into we can those. We, yeah there somehow we could tap into these and it's a matter of putting voltage in the right places and reading voltage out the right places but yeah. this can be bolted down what I'd like to do is get rid of the base plate because it's got these uprights that we can mount it on. Yeah. I'd like to make a new base and all the wires go down into a base and there's like and an Arduino or, or yeah. yeah and have like panel. an Arduino or a uh, even just a regular desktop or something sitting under there yeah. that makes this do stuff because okay. it's just so cool. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, man. That, that would take some time. I yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a project. Yeah, it's a whole project. I wish but, you had a way you could take this home. Yeah, I wish. Well, too. you're welcome to stay for a few weeks. But I would love to, Just but... Uh, hang out yeah. for a couple weeks and work I on I would this. have to quit my shop, but... It's worth it, yeah. really. I mean, yeah. Just for the video alone, it's worth Just it. Just for the video alone. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it, it seems like you have uh, some end, um, oh, yeah, there's, end switches. There's limit switches up limit here. Switches. There's three here, and they're activated by this cam. Yeah. So, like, this one that rides these is, like, that's limit this way right. for the top one. Then there's another one here, which is limit this way. Yeah. And the bottom one 
I don't even know what the hell that does. Yeah. There's more limit switches here. Yeah. We've got another set and here. So there's That's It's lot. really simple. Yeah, but but it's amazing it's an amazingly complicated collection of very simple things. Yeah. Which seems to be the recurring thing for most of this vintage of aircraft stuff that I've taken apart. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, I've seen some some of the videos and it's always like beautiful. It's art. Yeah. And this is all done like with paper. Wow. Slide rules. No computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, back when way back when. Wow. And you'll notice there's you can see them here, there's test points. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, because the the um back then you don't you don't you didn't have a uh, like proper uh, circuit bars, so they yeah, will do. Yeah, it's all point to point. This is all uh, wire wrap. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's an art in itself. Uh, I've seen some pictures of whole computers. Oh yeah, done all wire wrap. wire wrap. Yeah, we it's... actually have a couple of the boards like wow. that, and they're done in archives. Oh. So you need to do something. Yeah. Because this is about as deep as we can get into this. Yeah. We've gotten to do a really cool, very quick, simple autopsy. Mm -hmm. But you have a lot of students back okay. in Buenos Aires, yeah, in... and your students get to tinker in this world, like yeah. electronics, electronics, robotics, stuff yeah. like that. So what do you want to say to them? Because Whoa. you're sitting up here in America, and they're going to see this in yeah. your classroom on, on the computer, and they're going to freak out. <laughs> exactly. So what, what do you want to say to well, them? Well, uh, we, we'll be doing some reverse engineering with this, and... and uh, um, We'll uh, build some Arduino. I, I also teach Arduino courses. Cool. So uh, we'll program uh, an Arduino and uh, do the, all, all the things necessary to, for this to run. OK. Yeah. So this is, this is the beginnings of what will be a rather impressive demonstration. That would be awesome. Cool. Well, I'd be honored to, to help. Well, I'm glad yeah, you're here. Well, thank you thank for coming you. all the way to America well, and getting to start on this thing. And AVE, if you're watching, you have one of these. Yeah. Take it apart. Yeah, please. <laughs> Play with it. We want to see what you, what, what you bring to bear because you're going to look at this and know all the metallurgy and all that jazz. You're going to have a yeah. lot to talk about. And I really, there's a lot of us that are really excited to see what you think of it. Yeah. So you have this amazing, awesome toy hidden under a big black blob somewhere in your mountain of dirt. So yeah. Empire of Dirt. Empire, Empire of, of Dirt. dirt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the All wife right. saw you in room or something. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to thank Sebastian for coming. Thanks. And, thank and his girlfriend, the lovely Sophia, who is hiding off camera. Yeah. And I want to thank all of you guys for watching and hanging out. As always, we'll see you next time. <laughs>